Hi guys, welcome to Tech Geek. So, in the placement series, today we'll be discussing about Josh Technology Group. So, as you know, recently they hired for 18 LPA and at 9 LPA too for SD position. So, let's discuss about this. Though, as said, this company has a very difficult process and it has three interviews actually. So, three interviews and three prior rounds. So, you have to be good in DSA. That's very first thing. Second thing, you have to be confident enough to answer. And the third thing which I have seen, they basically ask about trees and link list. So that is what I got to know about the past questions. And talking about the questions, I have a Excel sheet created for Josh Technology. That's the last year questions that were basically repeated once. So if in case you need that, do write me in comments. I'll be happy to share that Excel sheet with every one of you. So now talking about this let's see how this process goes on so the recruitment process is six rounds that's the first three rounds it's mcqs subjective coding and the third are the interviews there are two technical interviews and the last one is of course the hr one now talking about the very first that's an mcq round it basically consists of logical and apti questions uh, Basically, they ask about arrays, loops, switch cases, ternary operators, uh, pointers is missing here. Pointers is also there. Pointers, shift operators. So you have one hour, basically not one hour, uh, it's 60 minutes, yeah, one hour to finish these 50 questions. Uh, basically, it's just to check whether you have the knowledge about the basics of this or not. And yeah, that's an elimination round too. So you have to be careful about everything. Coming up to the next round, that is the subjective round. So, so the subjective round is for the students who clear the first objective test and they will only be eligible. So you have to clear the first one and then only you will be allowed to give the subjective test. It's basically 75 minutes test. Uh, you have four questions out of which three were programming questions and one is an output based question. So output based question was basically about uh, strings and pointers that were inbuilt in it. It was quite a complex thing. So you have to be particular about each and every word and the output was also lengthy. You can say around 25 characters output. So even one miss would make you lose that. Now coming to the questions that were asked, the programming questions, the very first was uh, to remove the duplicate nodes from linked list. Secondly, arrange an array such that it has the negative values on the left end and the positive values on the right end, but the ordering should be same. So arranging was quite easy, but when it says that the ordering should be similar, so that is somewhere you have to be particular about it. Then second is again a tree question that says you have to find the kth largest element in the binary search tree. So when I say that I had that Excel sheet, so you can say the first and third questions were the ones which have been repeated thrice and it was a fourth time they were repeated. So that is something you ha have to be particular. While preparing for any company, go for the past year questions. Filter out the questions that are mostly asked and you'll see they will be repeated. Talking about the solutions to this question, as this video is quite long so i'll be sharing the solution to each and every coding question in a separate video so that it's easy to implement and understand and basically i would say that for preparing for mcq subjective coding round all these three please go for gfg according to me gfg is the best one and talking about tis you can go for link list most that's lead code and do the trees and link list part you can easily crack this. Now, coming to the third, that's the coding round. Again, you have to clear the second round, then only you will be applicable to appear for the third round. This coding round is also of 75 minutes. You are given three coding questions that you need to solve. Now, coming to the fact, the second round and third round, please make sure you add comments. There were people who actually solved the question, but they didn't have those comments place so they were disqualified so whatever you write you must know what you're writing and you have to explain that do mention the time complexity in the comments if you can so try to make it quite specific 
now coming to this the very first question was count special elements in an array an element will be special now what is the special word means the element will be special if we remove the the sum of odd and even index would become equal so you have to check by removing and yeah they have a specific complexity to in constraints too so please be careful about the constraints edge test cases it is quite tricky too the next one was again about trees so they asked to find the maximum difference between two nodes again this was a gfc question now then rearrange the link list in the last and first alternate fashion this question was repeated around uh, i guess three or four times and again the same question was seen in this 18 lpa hiring too so again i would say go for the ones which are actually repeated you will see them coming up talking about the interviews now the ones who cleared the three rounds they were invited for an interview and you can say within a week's time the result was announced and a day before they got a mail that the interview is scheduled so when the interview is scheduled now that interview is around 60 to 80 minutes so that's a specific time they give so in each technical round it will depend on the interviewer and secondly the very first interview that goes on it's always about coding directly they asked you about they'll ask you about introduce yourself and they'll directly say we are giving you coding questions you need to code there itself so the very first was majority element you have to find now what is a majority element a uh, majority element is uh, let's say you have an array so in that array a number that is repeated more than n by two times will be called as a majority element so you can give many solutions to this question but all they need is a specific time constraint so time complexity is something that you must be careful about so for this we had a specific uh, you can say algorithm that's there so i guess that's available in lead code too that's board modes algorithm so that is something they were looking up for and if you could do that that's good and if you couldn't then obviously you lost us so that was more's a voting algorithm now coming to the second one it was to find the path between two nodes so for this to find the path between two nodes it was easy if you have practiced trees but uh, all they would do is they uh, while you code they'll ask you to perform some changes do some operations like if not this do in the this way and if you cannot do in that way why you cannot do why you chose this method so you have to be clear about things and the concepts after clearing the first technical interview you are invited to the second interview it could be in the same day or the next day depending on the time so the second interview is again the same 60 to 90 again you are given some coding questions and some basic questions about projects are also asked so the questions that were asked were shift all the nodes to the right if there is an empty place in a binary tree every level should be filled from the rightmost end so you have to fill this and you have to check whether if there's place you need to shift if not then you need to place it okay and this filling should be done in the rightmost set okay you have to do it from right to left fashion second was write a program to divide a doubly linked list from middle into two doubly linked list it's actually you can say an opposite of merging linked list program so they can actually change the question and ask you to perform anything and that's what makes Josh a really powerful interviewer in these cases so as you can see apart from these questions the very common questions are linked list and binary trees so if you are bring please have your hands on these two topics if you want to get into this now after clearing the last round you have around 30 to 40 minutes discussion with the hr uh, the hr will basically ask you a few basic questions reallocation that's relocation why is your tg tell me something about yourself then something like uh, one strength one weakness or they can even give you a specific topic to speak about it share your views about it or uh, why should you be selected from so many candidates so there should be something in you that is making you a special or an you can say 
an efficient candidate for them okay then at last after discussing about the location and everything they'll end up with us by if you have any questions so in this don't be blank try to clear out your doubts and don't ask some work doubts too so please be professional while answering and professional while asking so i hope this video was clear and helpful if not then please let me know what was something that i was missing from my end and yeah talking about the coding questions i know there were so many coding questions so i'll be sharing the answers to, or solutions to these coding questions one by one in a video and these questions were compiled from the recent interviews and the last year inter the last phase interviews so i've compiled them and took the common questions basically then talking about the excel sheet do write up in the comments subscribe the channel if you do so i'll surely share this excel sheet as soon as possible and not just of josh i'm working on many other program many other hiring programs like oracle ibm as well as hashton and i'm creating these sheets for each of them and one master sheet that would be having the common questions of all the major companies so i hope that was good thank you keep following tech geek like share and subscribe and do let me know if you want me to share any views about any particular company or any interview process thank you